fire safety system for tunnels. During the years, the volume and number of road infrastructures that construction have increased in order to improve the transport facilities. The planning and the following implementation of these infrastructures take into account the environmental impact and the safety of people as important factor to prevent from potential accidents. In specific, the most dangerous situations are related to those either vehicles that carry polluting and flammable substances such as fuel gas trucks or fire smoke which spreads quickly even outside the tunnel. This is why it can lead to serious consequences. Today, the most modern tunnels, firefighting systems work as follows. Huge water flows and rain are brought on the inside in order to extinguish the flames and create smoke containment barriers to reduce its spread. The no fire system finds its best application as a drainage system for the road surface and it is placed on the roadside. It consists of a dual siphon with a vehicular grid, double wall corrugated pipes made of polypropylene SN16 for drained liquids transport, and on the outside there is a bypass spillway manhole of safety connected to a last storage tank. The no fire gully made of polyethylene has a collection tray with three vertical exits on the upper part. The middle one is wider in order to allow the water flow and the two side exits are closed with caps for the inspection and cleaning of the below pipes entrances. The upper edges of the tray are provided with steel profiles on which the vehicular cast iron grid will be fixed. The lower part has a single block tank with two vertical separators that create a dual siphon system. A socket insertion system connects the upper part to the lower one. Once the system is placed, the entrance and exit pipes will be connected to the no fire gully and the entire system will be fully enclosed in concrete in order to guarantee a dual protection function. Stationary – against the traffic loads. Safety – the system ensured the operational continuity in case of damage of the system's plastic portion. There are two possible fire situations that can take place inside the tunnel and involve the drainage system. On one hand, there might be the entrance of both liquids and flames. The water volume that is inside the storm drain tank is enough as fire extinguisher. On the other hand, there is the entrance of flammable liquids not lighted yet that mix with the water inside the tank, the gullies and the pipes. In case of fire on the road surface, the liquids could ignite even inside the gullies, spread up to the pipes and involve the downstream gullies, followed by the smoke leakage inside the tunnel. The double siphon no fire gully guarantees the presence of water inside the bottom tank in order to prevent the air entrance inside the system. Flames might spread inside the system, but they will extinguish immediately because of the lack of oxygen between two gullies. In the meantime, the tunnel firefighting system will thin the flammable liquids inside the drainage system by using water flows. In case of light liquids spill, they will be channeled from the drainage system to the safety bypass manhole, in which they will mix with water and will end up in the last tank. The standard tank of the no fire system is built up with polyethylene pipes with large diameters. 2000, 2200 or 2500 mm. In the first part, the incoming water meets a separator with a double function. It calms the flow by bringing the water towards the bottom and border the floating solid material such as paper, plastic, leaves. Once they are border, they will be removed through the inspection manhole. The liquids will cross the middle part of the tank called quiet tub and the heavy part, such as sand, will settle on the ground while the light liquids will float on the surface. This is the first split of the water. In the final part of the standard tank, water goes from the bottom to the top while it crosses a lamellas filter for an additional filtration. In order to exit the tank, the liquids go inside a vertical cylinder with big holes connected to a flow returning pipe that leads outside the tank. 
The vertical cylinder with holes has a floating shutdown valves made for floating on water, but not on light liquids. In case of light liquids spill inside the tunnel, they will reach the tank and place themselves on the surface. The thickness will increase from the top to the bottom, and this is when the floating height of the shutdown valve will decrease inside the water exit cylinder until the light liquids layer will not increase, allowing the filtered water exit. In case of increase of light liquids quantity, the shutdown valve will entirely close the passage and will not allow liquids to go outside. System Group – Technology and Innovation for People and Transport Safety